Hi, welcome to my channel, Raven's Enchanted Tarot. This evening I'm doing a reading for Aries. So this is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Cross watchers, you're welcome here as well. This is going to be for November 10th through to the 30th. Um, it's been a little bit of a busy, hectic month, which is why this is coming out a little bit late. But it's better late than never. So, this may or may not resonate. Take what does, leave the rest. Do not try and make it fit. But remember, there may be some issues here from the past as well. The video may or may not get interrupted. If it does, I will try and cut that part out. It's just that I've got a small baby who I might need to tend to. Anyhow, because I'm feeling selfish this month, I've been doing collective readings in clumps i've been doing the fire signs water signs earth signs but i'm just doing this as a bit of a taster just to see if i can get back into the swing of things of doing individual star signs because it's been quite a few months i've been out so i'm just sort of easing myself back in just seeing how the energy flows seeing how i feel before during afterwards um if it flows quite well then i may have a go again tomorrow with a different star sign Again, this is just me, you know, just getting back on the bike and seeing if I can ride. <laughs> that doesn't sound very appropriate, but there we go. Right, okay. Aries. I'm an Aries sun, moon, rising. So, again, selfishly for my own reasons, I thought I'd choose this star sign first because the, the, I try and not let these energies affect me, but unfortunately, you know, it can't be helped because I'm, I'm the tarot reader. Now, this deck that I'm going to be using is over 15 years old. I've had it a very, very, very long time. It's been through the washing machine, the dryer. Um, my young children have had their hands on them. My dog's even got them once and tried escaping with them out back. Whether to read their own tarot, I'm not too sure. Oh, we've got a king of swords that's popped out straight away. And a two of coins. Could be dealing with a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Um... A little bit of a power struggle going on. A little bit of a power struggle, but we'll see what comes out in the reading. But yeah, these cards are very old, and these are my my personal cards. I, I never use these in any of my videos. They're very old, they're very sacred to me, they're very special. And I thought there's nothing better than to use my... It's what I call my my blunt deck the very blunt the very straight to the point the energies and spirits that are attached to this deck there's no fuckery with these spirits they get right to the point and i think that's what i'm definitely needing right now and i know a lot of other areas don't like to beat around the bush we'll just like get the fuck on with it stop speaking please <laughs> got another card that's flew out the wheel of fortune wow aries things are really going to start turning in your favor you've made some big changes that Wheel of Fortune saying you've made some big changes, well done. Let's see what energies are coming out. What is coming towards Aries, please? November 10th through to the 30th. What is... Ooh. Oh, fucking hell, Aries. A tower reversed. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm laughing because I just can't make it up. Oh, my God. It started off as such a shit bad reading. Oh, God, we don't do things by half. Why do we always get the shit? Every time. Every time, Aries. I think we're the only star sign in the Zodiac that gets a double barrel load of shit. Like, we never get it easy. Can I have a clarification card, please, Spirit? Um, This is quite funny. I know a few people that are going to view this video that are going to laugh. Because it's like... You just, you just, you just can't make it up. Oh, that's amazing. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the ten of coins. So no matter what is happening, Aries, the money is in the bank. The money's coming in. Sometimes we have to stand still and count to ten. We've got ten motherfucking pentacles right there, Aries. So let's prepare for war, shall we? We have got the tower reversed. Look at that motherfucker. Look at the destruction and chaos. I mean, it's shit enough the right way up. <laughs> let alone, let alone reversed. The tower reversed there is, is a permanent loss. Catastrophe, chaos, confusion. This is literally feeling like your whole world's turned upside down. We don't know whether we're fucking coming or going. We can't, you know, we can't even count our fucking chickens. 
you know, the chickens are busy laying eggs and, and we, we can't even count the chickens, let alone count how many fucking eggs they're popping out. This is some major shit going on and you're scared. I'm scared. We're all scared when this motherfucker comes out reversed because it's not playing. This is not playing. This is, this is also, I've got nothing to lose. This is saying everything that I hold dear to me and close, my safety, my security, has the rug has been pulled from underneath my feet. So I'm not fucking playing no more. If, if the universe is going hard, I'm going hard with it. Go hard or go home. But this is also a kind of saying what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So you treat me how you want to be treated. And guess what? You don't like the way you're being treated? Fucking check yourself because I will destroy your world. You are not playing Aries. Ten of swords reversed. Wow, you have really been hurt, spirit, saying someone has really, really gone to town, slandering your name, stabbing you in the back. This is someone who is running around, running your name through the mud. But do you know what this person is? This is somebody who hides beyond the destruction, the cause. This is someone who stands with the weapon in the hand that they killed you with, claiming to be the victim. That's what this is. But Aries, you've got nothing to lose, so you are losing it. You are not taking no prisoners. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Leave with Gemini Aquarius. The outcome is this three of wands. The three of wands is saying have patience because you're going to have to rebuild yourself after the chaos and destruction. And you will build yourself. You will build yourself up bit by bit. You will have everything you had before, but it'll be built stronger. You'll be a lot more wiser. You will have more patience. Whatever it is that's going on is here. Don't fucking shoot the messenger, but it's a lesson. Maybe a lesson to not be so foolish, to be so forgiving, to be so gullible. These are lessons you needed to learn, Spirit is saying. And they're shit ones, I get that, I know. But do you know what it's going to teach you, Spirit is saying? Do you know what it's going to fucking teach you? So it says... There's the cups at the bottom, love. And I'm not talking about relationship love. I'm not saying that Mr. Fucking Dreamboat's going to come in and save the day and la la la. No, fuck that shit. This is loving yourself. Spirit is saying you need to love yourself and those around you, your family, your friends. This is you falling in love with yourself again. Even though right now you're in this tower and you've got all these people around you who are letting you down and they're just causing all out war. This is going to teach you to love yourself and you're going to have high motherfucking standards, Aries. For someone to come in and drink from this cup of love, they are going to have to bring to the table, not just the bread and wine, they're going to have to bring the fucking table and chairs as well for you to sit and eat with them. That's what spirit is saying, Aries. Because you've got the ten of coins. I don't really want to show you, but we've got a motherfucking king of cups down here. He's going to try his luck and he's going to try and come in and he's going to want to break bread. Bitch, if you didn't help bake, break, bake the bread, you do not get a slice of it. Do you know one good piece of advice I was told today? To the one irrelevant person in your life, do you know what you should say to them? Guy, you are like the end pieces of bread. Everybody touches you, but nobody fucking wants you. Ha! <laughs> yep. Yep, motherfucker. I do not have the patience or the crayons to explain it to you, Aries. This is the way it is. You've got nothing left to lose. You are on a new journey, a new spiritual journey, a new journey into your life. And yeah, it's fucking hard. I get it. It's hard. But nothing comes easy. That doesn't take hard work. If it does, it's pennies. It's shit. It's not worth it. For this, you've got to go through the shit, Aries. You've got to go through the shit. Whoever it is, whatever it is you're dealing with, it's irrelevant. It, this this situation is irrelevant in your life now. It's done. They have caused the shit. Let's get some clarification. Clarify the Tower Reverse for Aries. Please clarify this Tower Reverse for Aries. I'm sat on a really high bar stool like a fucking monk. I'm really not comfortable doing this. Reading Aries. What is this? What is the Ten of Swords Reverse for Aries, please? Clarify the Ten of Swords reverse for Aries. Oh, my cards are shuffling so well before I started recording. And because I've cleansed and charged them, now they're like, ooh, giddy. 
everybody wants to be red. What is this tennis style to reverse? No, don't fall on the floor. Wow. What's the three of ones for Aries, please? Clarify the three of ones. Spirit, come on. What is the three of ones for Aries? Three of ones for Aries. This Aries energy is changing, guys. I don't know where you've been or what you've been doing, but... Whew, there's, there's a massive personality change here, and I'm... Wow. Oh, fuck off. Another tower. Oh, and it just spun to reverse. That's absolute bullshit. No, you didn't come out reverse. You're staying that way. Spirit fucking mama cards. Aries. Right. We've got the Queen of Cups. This could be a Pisces around you. Real loving, real caring. Very nice. Very good, very good energy. This could also be you. Now, I don't know why, but it looks like that lightning's going into a fucking face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Illuminate. <laughs> Sorry. Right, seriously. You have been soft, Aries. You're an Aries who's turned into a Pisces or a Cancer or something. And you've gone... You've been in mother mode. You've been caring. You've been nurturing. You've been... Airy fairy, lardy da, let's try and ignore the problems that have been happening because there's a reason for them. And the universe has been like, fucking wake up, Aries. You're an Aries in a water sign energy. This shit doesn't mix. Water and fire do not mix. One puts the other one out, and that's why shit's gone tits up. This is definitely an Aries reading because my mouth is garbage. I really need to get a grip on this series, but it's your reading, so I know you guys understand it, yeah. Spirit is saying, you need to step back into this. Queen of Wands, the queen. You, you're still a queen, no matter, you know, no matter where your head's at. You are still a queen. You just believe in too much shit. You really, really, some of you are mothers, and you've gone way, way, way too into mother mode. You need to step back a bit and just realise who the fuck you was before, which is a warrior, a fighter. Somebody who didn't back down, not even to emotions, because Aries don't think. We don't think till afterwards when we've caused carnage and then we stand there going, oh shit, maybe I should have thought about that. I think I've just hurt so many people. Maybe I need to go back and say sorry. And then you've gone back into this Queen of Cups mode and just been like, oh sorry, it will happen again. No, fuck that Aries, fuck the apologies. Whatever has done has been done and somebody had some big balls to try and drag your name through the mud. You need to step back into that energy. Now this tower had to show its fucking face. And I know why it's come out twice. It's because Aries is just ultimate chaos. You're, you're, you're a beautiful disaster. We're all beautiful disasters under the fire sign. But this is saying, if you stay in this queen of cups energy, shit's just going to keep happening. Whatever it is you're trying to build isn't stable. You need to go back to basics. Because shit's just going to fall down. Do not make any more mistakes. Don't go back to the past. You're not going that way. It's there for a reason. With this world and this Ace of Cups, Spirit is saying it's done. It's finished. It's done. You've completed a cycle. And it's been a shit one. It has been a very, very shit cycle. But coming out of it, you are going to motherfucking love yourself. You are going to love the new you. It's almost like a reinvention. You're not an Aries no more. You're a fucking Aryan. There's the difference. No, sorry, I don't mean that in a... Well, it doesn't even matter. I know what I mean. I don't mean in the other Aryan way. But I mean an Aryan. Oh, just shut up. Aries, this is just craziness. Can I have some more clarification cards? For this read for Aries. Can I have some more clarification for Aries? You want to come out. Oh, you, did he not try and come out earlier? He did, didn't he? Sneaking motherfucker. Yeah, he did. He was there. He was there earlier. He's come out again. Oh, he's got some big balls. Water sign. Can yeah, wow. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Someone's getting shaved, shit and showered for you, Aries. Because you're going, you're leaving, and someone's scared. Yep, you're fucking... Oh, wow. Wow, eight of cups reversed. 
took more than once to walk away from this motherfucker, did it? Uh, and you were just paying for this. Sorry, ass. One, oh, two more. That's great. Thank you very fucking much. Right, Aries. <laughs> God, we've got three queens. Aries. Wow. King of Cups and the Page of Cups. Some, someone is going to try and contact you. They want to go on a date. They want a date, yeah. I'm hearing that stupid scene from Miss Congeniality. You want to love me. You want to kiss me. You, no, don't, don't, don't fuck around with this. They're too emotional. They're too unsteady on their feet. They're, they're not for you, Aries. Just listen, hear them out, see what they've got to say, offer them friendship and nothing more. You're done with that right now. You don't need that. And I'll tell you why. People have been taking you for granted and leaving you in the shit way too many times. What you do for them is not returned. It's just expected. And with this Eight of Cups reverse, this is saying when you walk away, don't even look back. Don't even give them that acknowledgement. Do not even reminisce don't let them reminisce with you don't talk about what happened in the past it's irrelevant now it's done whatever is uh, has been going on someone has, has really done you dirty but they're scared that you're going they're scared you're leaving they know you're gone and they're gonna do maybe everything they can to bring you back and you're concentrating on your family aries you're concentrating on your family and you're being quite cold actually this queen of swords and i don't blame you be called if you have to be to keep yourself safe. This Queen of Swords is here to say, step into my energy, stay safe and stay strong. Family is what matters. Concentrate on the family. There's a new home here for someone as well. I see a new home. Can I have one more card? Oh. The Magician reversed. Don't be manipulated. Do not let anybody manipulate you, Aries. The Magician is your energy as well, so don't you be doing that either. But don't be manipulated by nobody. Hi, priestess. There you go. You fucking know. You know, Aries. You know what's going on. You've done this rodeo before. You're very, very switched on. You're very caring. You're very loving. A lot of you are getting back into spiritualism. You're finding your power again. Some of you have called your power back. You're starting to hear things, see things, and... I don't know, you you you're you are transforming into a different person, you really are, you're transforming. Can I have a uh wisdom of the night please for Aries? It's too many. One card for Aries, please. Right, dogs, will you stop coming in and all that flap? One card for Aries. Oh no. Mm -hmm. So we've got meditation. Again, another difficult thing for an Aries to do. Can you have an oracle card, please? For Aries. Oracle card for Aries. This is coming out in chunks. We've got so many messages to tell you. So many messages. Just one card for Aries. Right, I'm going to choose one. Oh, the Oracle's Gift. Now, that goes along with the High Priestess. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Right, so the first card, Meditation. Something that, again, you may find difficult. <sighs> it's a time for no action. Do nothing. Find a quiet space and just wait. Because all is going to be revealed at the right time. That's why the High Priestess is there. Now is the time for quiet contemplation Aries you won't miss anything if you stay quiet and be still because there's magic in silence especially uh, when it comes to you there's something going on here where you need to just stay silent bide your time because something's going to be revealed this is speaking about second sight Aries clairvoyance seeing the future fit seeing someone's future that's determined by the choices that either you make or someone else makes seeing the signs around you that's why the high priestess is here you're recognizing potentials um especially versus like absolute determinism you're seeing the end result but like that three of ones was saying it takes time it takes patience but you will get there 
but the psychic visions, the psychic feelings, everything that you're seeing right now and you're feeling, you know something's coming, you know something's changing and you're getting very anxious and et up about it because you want it now, because you know something good is coming. It is on its way. The abundance, the financial security, something is coming to save the day and there's a lot of magic here that you can tap into. Just don't fall for the same fucking mistakes you made before and you will do well. That was your reading Aries for November 10th to the 30th. Let me know if this resonates. Don't forget to keep your kitchen which happy by giving me a big thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all again soon.